All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at the Wapiti Reservation. It's a good thing I had this as a travel spot from uh, Arthur's tent back at camp. Otherwise, this trip would have been a lot longer. It's time to speak to Colonel Monroe. Get these missions out of the way because I have a feeling we're going to be done with this chapter very soon. The end is nigh, ladies and gentlemen. The end is nigh. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. The chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Faber seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Let's go. Get a move on. Get the lead out. So, this Colonel Faber, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean... I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morton. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Funny how I'm picturing him describing Dutch. Because that's exactly who comes to mind when he says all this. You know, apart from the Union War. I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. 
Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. I saw that smoke rising off the horse. I was wondering, where is that smoke coming from? We'll be passing through soon. But it's just mist because it's cold. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. But just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Now all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Retrieve the medicine from the wagon. Okay. Hey there, girl. Yep. Dude can take some shots. I was unaware if I could be able to do this without killing them, but apparently threatening them wasn't really working all that well. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Time to get the medicine back to Captain Monroe. Hopefully no one will miss these guards. Let's head back. People here of Wapiti, I have returned. 
All of you can rest your head. I have the medicine to keep you from... I can't even figure out a rhyme. I had it in my head and it still wouldn't pan out. Monroe! Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past care about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Mission complete. Honor amongst thieves. And we still got some more missions to go through. Check the map. So we obviously have Eagle's Flies over here. But apparently we have another mission here in Ansburg. For, for who's that? Trelawney? It's been a while since I've seen him. Where's he been at? Okay, Trelawney. And we got Strauss up there, too. Huh. Well, what do you know? But I think we're closer to Eagle Fly, so let's get this uh, Wapiti tribe thing taken care of. Favorite sons. Dutch has convinced Eagle Flies to take action against the military. Oh, yeah, because that's going to work out just fine. So we'll head to Eagle Flies next, and then we'll meet up with Trelawney. So hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in the next video. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples.